Hello there, my name is Richard and welcome back to JPP Japan's Perfect Pens. Today we'll be doing another Namiki Emperor review video. And today's Namiki Emperor is the Emperor Dragon by Mamoru. This pen is a 2019 model. The Dragon line began in 2016 and continues to the present day. So to take a quick look at the Dragon, you have one Dragon descending from the clouds, you have one dragon rising up out of the water, we'll have a look at both of those, and there's a lot of Raiden work representing the stars in the background. So, this is a flat cap barrel Namiki Emperor, not rounded, which means it's slightly longer at 17.5 centimeters. This pen does not have a clip, and it has a two-tone size 50 18 karat gold nib. It's a standard Namiki giant nib. So here it is, and there's the giant nib. So you can see the two dragons, there's bands of gold in the pen and then there's the silver at the bottom and the top of the pen. So let's just start by talking a little about how this is made. This uses the Togedashi Take Makie, which is the burnished raised Makie. So 30 stages of production just to get to a black pen, then layer upon layer upon layer to build up the effects. Now this isn't Shishiai Togedashi Makie. Now the difference is, in Shishai Togadashi, you have the raised make already, but as you can see here, in the string, over the top of the raised make, they also draw more flat make. So that's Shishai Togadashi. This is Togadashi Taka, which is just the raised make. But, I say just, it is used to extremely good effect. So now let's take a better look at the pen. So, first of all, we have at the top of the pen, a dragon coming down from the skies and then here we have a dragon coming up from the ocean to meet it in the middle and they're both looking at each other and the bottom has got quite a fierce face and the top is holding the pearl of wish fulfillment so if we rotate around the pen we see there's some lovely red work there with fire on both the dragons and there's a lot of raiden in the middle that blue and purple and green to represent the stars and then both at the left and right hand end of this, the extreme top and bottom of the pen, you have the clouds and the waves rendered. So let's talk about the stars. This is Raiden, which means mother of pearl. It's thin layers of the inside of certain shells and they cut it into the shapes. They use a rushi to hold it in place. They burnish it with charcoal. Now by using more or less burnish, what they've actually done is they've made it so some parts of the Raiden appear darker than others. So the ones that are most burnished, most polished, are the brightest, but other parts they've deliberately not done as much. So what that gives you is the real effect of a starry night when you see it in person. It really does look like some of these stars are brighter and closer to you and some of them are further away. Now I really like that. I've not seen that done in another Namiki Emperor pen. So looking at the top here, we have the silver bit of raised Mackie work at the top for the clouds. We have the circular forms of the clouds. We have some little details on them as well. It's very nicely done. You can see how raised the Mackie is. As I rotate it around this Taka Mackie, you can really see each scale is rendered in a very 3D form and it catches the light. And then by contrast, the starry sky with the Raiden is much flatter, so it really does look like it's well behind the dragons. The dragons are in front, leaping out, and the stars are behind. And it really has this fantastic, I said again, it's a 3D look to it, that's what it's supposed to be. It's a 3D look with the dragon absolutely standing out in front of the starry sky. Now, taking a quick look at the Pearl of Wish Fulfillment, um, this is white Raiden, so it still reflects these elements of purple and green, but mostly looks white, and you just see the purple and green as you rotate it around. It's done very nicely. Now, looking a little bit at the bottom of the pen, you can see the top of the waves stand out very much with this raised Takamakie, and also there at the bottom underneath the signature, you can see a different effect with a lot of texture at the bottom to represent the bottom of the ocean. So again, you have the dragon leaping out, you have the foam splashing around it, so it's very much a sense of action and movement. And that's accentuated by the contrast between the greys at the bottom, the red of the fire, the gold of the dragon, and then the blues and the purples of the Raiden sky. And there you can see the pen in its full length and how that works. There's a nice symmetry about it with the greys at the top and the bottom, the golds in the middle, and then the blues behind them. So if we have a level look at the bottom here, you can see how the lines of Mackie have been drawn in these lovely shapes to articulate the waves after the waves have already been raised in the uh, Takadogadashi method. And again, the 
bit of fire there it just gives it a little bit more bite a little bit more edge the fierce red of the dragon's tongue it very much gives it this action effect which is duplicated with the dragon at the top and the flames at the top really show the dragon is descending very quickly they're flying out behind as it comes through the air so both of them give the sense of movement okay so now if we open up the pen and we're going to take a look at the nib so here you have it this is the Namiki size 50 nib which is 18 karat gold two-tone with the Mount Fuji snow cap accentuated by the second tone it's a wet writer a smooth writer and a huge 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 nib so there it is the huge 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 nib you can actually see also that the section here has got a fair amount of macchia work on it making it consistent with the barrel of the pen so you have the same gold pattern as it reaches it. I like that on the section it's it's a nice thing to add to it I think it gives the pen a more complete feel um, when you've got the cap off so there it is side by side with the cap yeah so for me that works very nicely it doesn't it doesn't feel like the section itself and the nib stand out and are inconsistent with the pen I think both the gold and the silver highlighting work very nicely and it is just a gorgeous gorgeous nib a phenomenal pleasure to write with if if it suits your hand size and your style of writing so here i am holding it um, what you can see here is the nib is really really long so i've got very big hands but even with very big hands and the pen fitting comfortably in my hand the nib demands large gestures like this so a normal nib you'd be holding almost all the way down here but you can't hold it there so holding it in the proper place you have to do gestures like this yeah so it requires a bit of an adaptation to the way you write what sort of adaptation well you can see in my namiki emperor fountain pen writing sample and review video which has this thumbnail take a look at that i've linked it above um, to see how three of these size 50 emperors write and the thing to note is being ebonite pens they are much less heavy than brass pens or metal pens of the same size so they're very comfortable to write with for a long duration and they have a massive ink capacity because they are eyedropper pens they take about three full syringes of the syringe that comes with the pen itself so that means when you do pick a color you're using that color for a long time so let's just put that away and Let's take a bit more detailed look at actually what they've done and how they've done it, starting here at the dragon's face. So you can see there's actually, this is just amazing detail, like, you know, to really see that the eye and the cheek and the nose and the whiskers, how raised they are and how this cloud work, how it's raised and how it's layered over the top of each other. It's an astonishing bit of work because there's a lot of subtle variations in how high these textures are raised, which gives this 3D effect. You know, the nose being in front of the whiskers and the tooth there being in front of the jaw of the dragon. These are all very, very deliberately done and every single layer of macchie put on top is very, very thin. So you're not talking about putting on one layer and sculpting it. You're talking about putting multiple, multiple layers over the top and building up the heights so each scale has to be built up to the right height to make the right effect and if you look down here the eye has to be built up to stand out from the face the claws here have to really leap out and they do leap out because they are raised high enough above the rest of the pen and that is the contributing factor towards the enormous price of this pen is the fact that it takes so long to make it because so many different layers each scale each whisker has to have a certain amount of this raised macchia put on top of it and they put it away to harden and it comes back they put a bit more and they put it away time after time after time returning to the same pen to slowly build it up all the while with this vision of what it's got to look like and the effect of this pen is striking 3d action and for me that's very unusual in the Miki Emperors. Now this channel is going to have nearly 30 Namiki Emperor reviews. It's going to have a lot of Yukari Royale reviews, a lot of Yukari reviews. And of all those pens which I've seen, I can't think of many which are as action oriented as this pen. Now this pen is quite special to me because when I was purchasing my first Namiki Emperor, which was the Goldfish, this was my alternate. And I was choosing between the two and they were such opposites and they're both very impressive pens. And I was looking at this pen and I loved it. I love the Raiden work. I love that starry sky and the dragon fiercely coming down in front of it. 
Uh, and the only thing that made me choose the goldfish overall was the more muted theme um, because I also wanted to use it at work, I wanted to use it in other places, and I wanted a pen that didn't quite jump out and scream look at me as much. But if you don't mind that sort of pen, and this is absolutely marvellous, and I still absolutely love this pen, I just wouldn't use it at work. Um, it's a fabulous thing. It's really, really, really impressive. It's an absolute treat to hold it, and it's so different from the other Namikas. It really is different, even if I take the, the Four Gods Namiki Emperor, it hasn't got the movement or the aggression that this pen has. So there you go, that's my thoughts about this really remarkable pen. And I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different from the other pens. Um, if you did enjoy it, please feel free to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time for more reviews. Thank you very much and bye bye.